tower would put me in the Mashingo Road. Yes, Papa. But this is not during the day. This is during the night. And this is Mashingo Road. And this young man is going home. But okay. as he's going home, he is in a silver car. Matter of fact, it's a silver Toyota. Yes. That is in it. Right, yeah. Professor Papa. And as he's in a silver yes. Toyota, he hears a loud sound in the back. Right. And as he's in this car, he turns around to look. And as he's turning around to look, he sees a white, big truck with two trailers behind, coming Professor behind Papa. the car and hitting his car. Perfect and the car up. rolls off and is outside of the road. All of a sudden, he's out of the car. And outside of the car, there is grass, but there are two cows. Professor they start chasing him. Professor he's Iper. now running away from two cows with the big horns like this. Iper. One of the cow with the big horn yes. then gets close to him and he hit him on the leg with the horn. He told me about the dream. Eh? He told me about the dream, Papa. He runs again and finds himself in a corner. As he's finding himself in a corner, he says, it is better I climb up this mountain Professor where Papa. I can be safe from this cows. Yes. As he's climbing up the mountain, to go up the mountain like this, right? As he's Professor climbing, I, Professor he's Papa. walking on all fours. Yeah, I know. Why well, do you know it? Uh, it's related to my dream. As he's doing so, he looks on the right side of it, he sees a cobra, a snake, but Professor instead Papa. of it being black, yes. it is brown in color. Yes. Then he begins to panic. This snake starts to chase him around Professor in the tree. Papa. And as it is chasing Professor him in the tree, his target is to get to the top of the mountain. Yes. But for some strange reason, the snake then touches him. He starts to lose power. He loses power. Professor and then he wakes up sweating. Professor hey. Papa. Did you have this dream? I think something like three to four days ago. It's a dream. I didn't come to tell him about his life, things that are evident. I came to ask him only something that was ministered to him in the spiritual sense. Before you go to the mountain, what had hit you on the road? It was a truck. Did you? Yeah. Message and he told me that you know it, the dreams are getting worse. I dreamt um, you know this um, snake chasing me and it and it and it and it beat me. Then he sent another text again and he says I even got hit by a truck. Yes, Papa. The problem. I'm listening. It's not your fault. You were born in an environment of warfare. Professor Iba. You were born in an environment of warfare that required you to be a soldier. Let me tell you something about this boy that people might not know. This boy was destined to be the light of the family, yes. him. Yes. This boy was destined, when God made him, he, his, he put a star on his head yes. and said, yes, this Papa. guy, this guy is going to be the one that shall set free the entire family and it shall be the one to put in a family of comfort and prosperity. You were born as a destined child, but the destined child was put in a war zone, which required you to then fight. You just do not have the knowledge to fight. Helping men of God. That is why I saw an arrow on the 27th of February Professor being Papa. fired on the 27th of February 1998 and then a man got sick on that day and then a year later I saw that arrow being sent again but this time it was three arrows in the year 1999 and I saw a marrow being struck and I saw a man going onto the ground and I saw written on front of a grave a man like Benjamin or Benja or, or something like that. It, it was in 1999 when my father died. No, I said the arrow was fired what? And a year later, somebody died. Who's Benjamin? It's my father. That was your father. Why? Because even though the star is on his forehead, the environment he was put in required him to fight, but he did not have the knowledge on how to fight, so he folded his hands and the devil took everything. 
I now need you after today your deliverance. Yes, Baba. I now need you to pray. I now need Amen. you to take your life with Christ seriously. Amen, Baba. Be hungry Amen, to Baba. reach unreachable dimensions when it comes to God. Amen, Baba.